I was just wondering since if that um, internship was the same thing as like work in your opinion or if like not because I know that there's sometimes um, as students we go to jobs that are unrelated to our yes. degree which is recommended to not because then it's don't do that yeah or if it was um, different for if it's like an internship I would treat an internship just like work if you intern for me you'd work for me for 40 hours a week it's not like you can do school it would be very difficult I don't think we've done too many part-time internships maybe one or two it's demanding and you want it to be demanding so the internship is somewhere in between these two things let me see how I would draw this then the internship is a hybrid so I'm gonna put the portfolio handle case over it so it's kinda like school but it's kinda like work so here what you give them is your effort and they give you money but they also give you this other thing which the other places don't give you they give you money and knowledge but what they do is they give you less money and this is more money that's how it works is that fair so the sum total of this could be greater than than this amount so be careful where you decide to go and and pick the place where you're going to learn uh, what year do you recommend would be like the most optimum to start looking for internships or to start one a junior okay sophomore you're too young you don't know anything you barely know what's up. Learn all your tools ahead of time and go in there and be productive. Then, Junior's the best year. Because you know why? Why did I not say senior? Why not senior? Is it too late? What do you mean too late? Like, I don't know, too late. <laughs> <laughs> like, what if you don't find it in time and then you graduate? Oh, and okay, you're I see. out of yeah. that experience in graduating. See, so in the normal school system, there is a, a freshman, sophomore, junior, and then there's senior, right? And you have these little breaks in between. This is not a good time to start interning. Like you said, you're done with school, now what? As soon as you graduate, all of a sudden all those resources and all the people and your connections, they vaporize. So the best time is actually here between being a junior and a senior, and you do it during the summer, you learn as much as you can, and then you go back to school with a new perspective, new ways of working, new tools, new process, a new mindset. Then you can soak up that last little year and take in everything that, that you're supposed to take in. You will then be a hyper learner in your senior year. All right, so I'm a senior, and Sorry. Um, I've already done three internships. Oh, you have? But they've been this year, and it hasn't been paid. It's been me going there, going to school, finishing it. And at this point, none of the internships that I've done feel like home. They don't feel, I don't feel like I'm doing anything. I, I feel like I'm wasting my time. And I haven't been able to find the right place for me. Mm -hmm. um, and you saying all of that, it just makes me feel like, I mean, I, I don't even know if I have, I, I don't know what basically to do next. You know what I mean? Right. Okay, so here it is, guys. You see the, the scale here? It's a sliding scale. On the left side is learning. On the right side is money. On the far left side is learning and while paying money, so it's a negative money. You're trying to find a place where this is in, in a happy balance for you. So when you make no money, unpaid, I hope you're learning a lot because you've moved the scale all the way over here. Was that the case? No. So we need to reevaluate your thinking process. Why go to work for free while not learning anything? That's a big problem. It's not just the number of internships that you have, it's the quality of the internship. And there's definitely high quality and low quality internships. Um, Giovanni, if you were to intern for me, I said, you know, you gotta pick up my dry cleaning, drop this off, but, and before you know it, you've just done busybody work. And if you need to make a couple of bucks, that's great. But if I pay you nothing, what's the point? You're better off working at Starbucks. You really are. At least they pay you, what, 12, 13 bucks an hour? They pay a lot. I mean, not a lot in the bigger picture of things, but a lot more than zero, right? And think about it. When you're interning somewhere, it costs you money, not only in your time, but in gas, buying yourself lunch. Those kinds of things are problematic. 
What do you hope to gain from an internship, you guys? What do you want to gain? Like, somebody just shout out something. Just be crazy. What do you want to learn from an internship? Knowledge. Be more specific. Hold on. I'm going to try to write down as many things as you guys say, but sum it up in one, one word ideas if you can. Go ahead. Anybody? Essential information. <laughs> well, I'm going to tell you something. Essential information. Ready? And you don't even need to be my intern. You need to breathe. You need to eat. And you need to sleep. Outside of that, you're good. What do you mean things. essential information? He said sum it up. In related sum to it the up. Desired field. Like what? Like the ins and outs of like, let's say how you're saying it didn't feel like home. Like let's say you find that home, like how to get to that position, like to be higher and like get a job. Somebody like, help out Kaya Mayer. <laughs> what? I mean, you guys don't even know what you want to get from an internship? Experience. Okay, I'll write it. Okay, okay. I'll, okay. I'm just going to write it down, you guys, and we're going to see how great this list is. Experience. Okay. What else? Production. Production. Good. Next. Software. I guess if I don't look at you, you guys are braver. And as soon as I look at you, it's like nobody says a word. Software, like tools, right? Is that right, Jung? Yeah. Okay. Efficiency. Okay, be more efficient. Great. Oh, process. Yes. Go ahead. Time. Time management? Yeah. Okay. Which is kind of related to the efficiency. What else? Leadership skills. Leadership. Ooh. All right. What else? People skills. I guess you can participate, but I want the kids to do this. I want this to be their list. Communication. Communication. I'll put that right with people, right? Calm. What else? Like practical application of what you learned in school. Real world experience, which is really what that word experience means, right? Is that okay? Okay. Anything else? Connections. Yes, yeah, network. That's kind of important, don't you think? Okay. That's pretty good. Do we miss anything, you guys? Portfolio. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so selfish, that guy, Adidas. I get you, portfolio. It's totally true. How can we forget portfolio? Is that pretty good? Uh, how about uh, the woman sitting right behind Judy? That's you. Between Judy and Shane, right? I haven't heard you say two words yet. Say something. <laughs> You're just what? I'm okay, I just like to put people on the spot. That's, I'm a jerk. I get it. Okay. All right. Now, you guys, let's take a look at this list. Okay? And this will be our filter on how we decide where we should work. Forget about even internships. Just where should we work? Now, each one of you guys go through this list in your mind and pick your top three. Giovanni, I want you to pick your top three. Okay, everybody else pick your top three, all right? Can you guys see the board? Do I need to read it back to you? You guys got eagle vision back there? Okay, good. All right. What are your top three, man? I would say leadership. Okay. Portfolio. Portfolio, yep. Um, Some people get real paid. Real world experience. Nobody put money here. Real world experience. Yeah. Those are your top three? Yeah. How does that sound as a top three, you guys? Anybody else have a totally different top three? Go ahead. You have a totally different three. Can you pass them the mic, please? What's your name, man? Well, my name is Brian. Brian? OK. Go ahead. Uh, with a B. What? Uh, Brian. Um, with an I. <laughs> no, it's, it's fine like that. B-R-I-E-N. It's like, can we get over the name, dude? <laughs> it's just for me to remember. Go on. Um, my top three would be process, process. client management, and production. Time management, production. Great. So you see how we all have different lists. I love that that yours is totally different. OK, now Brian and Giovanni, I want you to think about the last internship you had. Are you learning leadership skills? Not what I want to be learning. OK. It's yes or no. No. I want you to get off the fence. Yes no, or no. 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 I know life is full of grays, but in this world, yes or no. Real world experience, relevant to what you're doing? No. No. See, so he was like, no. And portfolio, no. no. I already know it's no. no. So why the heck are you even working here? On top of that, no money. OK? So here's the thing. 
We're creative people. We go with the gut, the feeling, intuition. Freaking make a list, put it in black and white, everything becomes a lot clearer. When you're designing a logo for a client, do you sit down and write down, this is what it needs to do? Top three? And then when you go and make a crazy mark and it's like legibility is the most important thing and it's this ugly, crazy thing, you're like, ooh, that's not legible, is it? Because you know what we do? I've seen this happen 100 times. As a student, as a teacher, as a professional, when you design something that you love, you change the target. The words change. That's why you don't want to write things down in words. But now, all of a sudden, to the benefit of everybody here and the people that are watching on the internet, they're going to have some criteria as to judge where you should work. If you can't get these three things, or two out of the three, you need to make a different decision. I shouldn't work here. Now here's the really cool thing. You can get this at an internship. Better yet, you can get this at a job, like a real job. Because the money goes up. This intensifies, right? But you can also get it somewhere else. You don't have to be physically there anymore. Where could you get it? Where else can you learn things about leadership, real world experience, and portfolio? Where else can you get this stuff from, guys? Well, you can get it online. You can read a book. You can go to a seminar or workshop. And you can do some DIY version of any of these things, mix and match. The reason why the internship exists, because you want somebody to do it for you. But if you have the initiative, you can do it yourself. All right? Does that make sense? Yeah. All right. Uh, who else has interned before? All right, ha hand the mic. Did they meet your list? The one that you didn't write? I, mean, I didn't really pick my top three <laughs> completely. Right. But um, What would your top three be? Probably efficiency. You want to be more efficient? OK. Yeah, real world experience. OK. And um, networking. Networking, got it. How are you doing on your internship? Efficient? Are you much more efficient today? Well, my internship turned into a job, so I don't know if that really counts. No, 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 just stick with your list, see? You're, with you're... the internship, though, because it, like, I stayed long after. Because I was only interning for like two weeks, and then. Uh, interning for two weeks, that's, not, that's like nothing. Oh, OK. Well, what I, was, I worked there for like two and a half years. OK. Were you more efficient in a three-month period? Yes. OK. Real world experience? I'm on the fence with that. Network, yes or no? Yes or no, man? Make a decision. Um, Nobody will know but you. And the internet. <laughs> well, no. Um, OK, blink once for yes, blink <laughs> twice for no. Um, real world experience, yes. And How then, many blinks is that? Yeah, okay, and then networking, yeah, okay. I'd say no. I got gotcha. you. OK. OK. Right, so we have a criteria. We prioritize the list, and we use that to make decisions. This is what organizations do. You're just an organization of one right now. 